Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the new comic book day video of the week where myself and Left Arrows are going to collaborate to bring you guys a little information about those books scheduled to drop within the week. Now, the books are selected by Left Arrows and this week's books are scheduled for February 21st release date. So let's take a look together because kind of like what Cover Price says, it's better to know before you go. So let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off with the open order books. Now, the first book on the list is Spider-Boy issue four. That's right, here you have the first appearance of Boy Spider. No, not, not Spider-Boy, Boy Spider. And yes, of course, this is being written by Dan Slott. Now, I will say that Dan Slott has managed to keep me intrigued with this character. We've seen a lot develop within the story so far. So looking forward to seeing who Boy Spider is. The next book on the list is none other than Batman 144. Guys, Chip Zdarsky has been absolutely killing it on this book and I cannot stress it enough that the Joker Year One has been probably one of my favorite reads. If you guys haven't yet, definitely pick it up. You saw what happened with issue 142. Now this one particularly is the conclusion of Joker Year One. Guys, if you read Batman The Three Jokers, all of that fun stuff, there's a lot of things taking place Joker related so if you're a fan of the Joker you definitely don't want to miss this. The next book is Spawn 350 that's right we've hit another milestone for Spawn the record-breaking 350th issue but guys cover A right here absolutely gorgeous now there's a lot more um, beautiful covers of course but we'll get into some of that a little later but solicitation states that Malbolgia's successor as the ruler of hell will be revealed within this one. So if you are a Spawn reader, a Spawn fan, I'm sure you're going to want to pick this one up. I think it's worthy of a pickup. But like I said, we're going to talk some of those covers after. Another book here that's making the list is Six Fingers number one. This is the cover A. Now this is a new mini series in a shared universe with the One Hand series. If you guys are wondering what that is, well, the One Hand recently dropped earlier this month. Ram V is behind that one, and I thought it was a great read. So if you're into this and you want to keep up with this shared universe, I highly recommend you guys pick this one up as well. The next book is none other than Edge of Spider-Verse 1. Yes, guys, we're here again with Edge of Spider-Verse. But this particular cover right here is the main cover, and it has the first appearance and cover of Weapon 8. So we all know how it goes with these Spider-Verse books, right? Last run of Edge of Spider-Verse saw many first appearances, and as you can see right here, we have another one. Now we'll see just how many more we get along the way, but I am totally grabbing this. Captain Marvel 5. Now, story here written by Alyssa Wong. Guys, I'll be totally transparent with you. I felt like the first couple issues were kind of slow. Things are starting to pick up here because we've also got now in this issue the first appearance of The Undone. And last but not least, on the open order books available for this week, we've got Ultimate Spider-Man 2. First full in story appearance of Spider-Man from Earth 6160. And you've got the first appearance of Earth 6160's Shocker. Speaking Shocker, should be no shocker that this is going to be the book everybody's looking for come new comic book day. But guys, not just for the sake of secondary market and resale value, but the story itself. Guys, Marco Cicero, Jonathan Hickman, the pairing I never knew I needed in my life. Yes. A lot of buzz surrounding this book, just one issue in. A lot of people fell in love with it story-wise. I cannot stress it enough. I highly recommend everybody pick this one up, and I'll give you guys a little info. I saw a little bit of what's to come as well in issue three. I highly recommend everybody stay on board for the next couple issues. All right, guys, now I told you we would get into some of those cover talks, meaning those awesome covers that are available this week. And the first one that we're going to talk about is Edge of Spider-Verse 1. This is the Azrar variant, and the first cover appearance of Spookerman is on this cover, as you can see here. Um, yeah, pretty interesting design. I think the character looks a little weird, um, but I look forward to seeing what this character brings to the table. Will he be within the book? Who knows? But I'm definitely going to check it out. Now, not only is that awesome cover available for Edge of Spider-Verse, but we've also got this Scotty Young cover. That's right. Scotty Young fans unite because we've got an awesome cover here for Edge of Spider-Verse 1 where you've got Miles Morales, you've got uh, Spider-Punk, Spider-Man, Ghost Spider, and of course Silk on the cover. It's an immediate sell for myself. I'm picking this one up. 
back to Spawn 350 we go because not one but two Todd McFarlane covers are available here so as you can see you've got the beautiful color uh, colored trade of this one and of course you've got the black and white sketch variant so definitely pickups for myself how can you not pick up a Spawn book with a cover done by Todd McFarlane come on Another really cool cover that's coming out this week is Cobra Commander 2's cover B right there. So you've got the Cobra Commander variant cover depiction by Ricardo Ortiz Lopez. I think it's an awesome cover, to be honest with you. I actually chose this one over the cover A, and I really hope you guys had the opportunity to read issue 1, because a lot of cool things took place within that issue. A lot of cool things taking place within the Energon universe, so I highly recommend you guys all get familiar. Another book I think worthy of mentioning when it comes to awesome covers. Guys, I'm a big fan of what Raza puts out. Now we've got Green Lantern, War Journal number 6. That's right, this Jon Stewart variant is done by Raza himself. And I think that this book looks gorgeous. Love everything about it. I think this is a straight up cover buy for myself. All right, guys, let's get into some of the incentives that are available this week. Now we're going to kick it off with Star Wars 43. Yeah. The 1 in 25 incentive over here is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's also got the first cover appearance of Greta, who you can see right there in the background. So, might be worthy of a pickup. Now, we actually have a book on the list that is a complete surprise. That's right, we have Six Fingers number 1. It is a surprise variant because this variant cover by Alvaro Martinez Bueno was not available for order. That's right, so if you guys do come across this one in the wild, if you're out picking up your books at your LCS, and you see this on the shelf or at the counter. Hopefully it's not marked up too high, but definitely worthy of a pickup. Now here's a neat cover for Captain Marvel issue 5. This is a 1 in 25 incentive cover, and it is a costume variant done by Dodderman. Now it's not the first time we've seen these covers be done by Dodderman. We've seen multiple costume variants available, but the 1 in 25 incentive that sticks out to me and I recall is Excalibur 18. I don't know if you guys had the opportunity to see it, but one of those recent sales actually took place for well over $700 Canadian in a CGC 9.8. So just to give you guys an idea of how that particular book did on the secondary market. Now I'm not too sure if this would hold or do such a number as on the secondary market, but regardless of the fact, it is an awesome cover. So if you're a fan of these types of costume variants, I think it's worthy of a pickup. Now here we are with the 1 in 100 for Ultimate Spider-Man 2. This is the 1 in 100 incentive. That's right, a 1 in 100 Virgin variant by Dyke Ruin. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous, man. I could just imagine this slab, signed, whatever it may be. But it's a beautiful cover. If you have the opportunity to grab one, I would do it. And the book that I've already seen selling on eBay for quite a bit of a premium, Edge of Spider-Verse issue one. This is the one per account retailer variant. That's right, only one per account. None of this was available um, for order off FOC. So your retailers, well, if they got them up for sale, you might want to keep an eye out and hopefully the price is right because I'm already seeing this going for well over $60 Canadian over on eBay. So if you come across it at your LCS, definitely pick it up it's an awesome cover and it's only a one per account so i don't imagine there's going to be many so there you have it those were the new comic book day selections of the week selected by lefteros for february 21st now guys before we head on out please take a moment like subscribe and of course comment down below let us know what you guys thought of those books selected for this week and of course to show some love to Lefteros go follow him over on Instagram and you can also support him by following comicnation.us go visit their website you can even get your FOC orders in weekly with them they already have a 15% discount every FOC order but you can get yourself an additional 5% off by adding discount code black crown that's right so at black crown to get yourself a five percent off guys i appreciate you watching this video we will be back until then guys enjoy your new comic book day and happy hunting